15th day of October. It is a Tuesday, and we are at Fairview for eight races on the track on the turf today. That means the Barpod race one, PA race two, pick six race three, jackpot one race four, and of course jackpot two starts in race number five. Unusual to have a meeting on Tuesday, but it's going to be all the more fun. Nino will be joining us for today's card. Nino Podesta, all the way from uh, PE. In fact, he lives in Cape Town, but he certainly knows his stuff when he chats about PE. Donald Kiersen, please note, he no longer claims. He's won his 50th win, so no more claim for Donald Kiersen. Congratulations to the young man. Now, as far as race one is concerned, first leg of the bipod this afternoon, welcome to Nelson Bay Maiden Plate. It is a fillies and mares, and they're racing over 1,200 metres, as I said, on the turf. Betting has number one, ice cap at 22 to 10. For Gavin Smith, it's 5 to 2, number 7, Fantasy Girl. Richard Free riding this one from the draw of 12. 5, Dancing in Winter, 4 to 1. 13 to 2, number 2, Opera Verse. And then it's 10 to 1 and better bar those. This is the first leg of the bipod, and I know Nino's got a bipod for us. But first, welcome, Nino. How are you, and what do you make of the first race? Uh, good morning, uh, Long Dance. I'm, I'm good. I'm all good here in Cape Town. And... Uh, just strange that they're running on the Tuesday on the poly. I mean, on the turf and yes. not the poly. They usually yes. have uh, poly meetings on the Tuesday. Um, so, but getting uh, to the back to the first race, I like two horses very strong. And I couldn't separate them. But if, if you pushed me, I'd go for um, Ice Cap to beat uh, Fantasy Girl. And then uh, uh, the third choice would be Daunting in Winter. And I think I put all three in the Bible. And I. Uh, the winner will come from one of those three. All right, so one seven is the selection here for Nino. He's put the uh, five in as well, dancing in winter for Jurgen van Hedden. But one five and seven, all three of them, he says equal, um, five, one and five equal chances. Maybe the seven just to uh, double up here in the bipod. One five seven by three, four, five, eight and nine. Two, three, four, five. Two bankers here in the bipod for Nino. Four in leg four, one leg five. And then one, three, four, seven. The spend, 240 rand. If his life was on the line, he'd go with number one ice cap in red. The PA today starts in race number two. It is a racing today open maiden over 1400 meters. Take note, open maiden, the weights uh, are different for most of the horses. Number one is a scratching, and then a few equipment changes so far. Number five, Donnie's boy, blinkers off, check pieces on. The six, Agan Memlon, very strong name for a horse there. Tongue tie goes on, number six. And over the page, we have number nine, Lord Quinn, who's got those check pieces on, off, off. Right, so race at number two, here's the betting. Man of Courage, number three, is a three to one for the Khrea Furi combination. 33 to 10, number eight, that's Global Scene for Tara Lang and Chase Majan. It's then 3.75 to one, number five, Donnie's Boy. Nine to two, the four, Home Reef. And number two, Flash Lightning, is showing up at nine to two. Seven to one and better by those. I've just quickly seen uh, Nino's PA, and it looks quite a trappy start to the PA here, Nino. Uh, yes, well, uh, it's an open handicap, so you've got to be careful that uh, some of the lightweights could probably upset. But, you know, uh, uh, Lyle, the, the improver in this race has to be the uh, the Alan Greer trained Richard Fourier ridden Socrat uh, called Man of Courage. Likely race and not too far behind in his first two runs. As, uh, his gain on, uh, on the, his last run was on the poly. I think he'll be better on the turf. But, uh, Looking at this race, if you if you ignore Donny's boy's last run when he choked up, then that's got to be a big runner. Uh, Home Reef has got a chance. Uh, global scene, you can't leave that out. And then the, the source with, with a low weight that brings a cape form could be a big upset. So I've added that in as well. I was called Lord Quinn with uh, Muzi Yeni up. Three, four, five, eight, and nine I've put in the in the pier. Uh, I think it's a tough race. Yeah, being a maiden handicap, you're right. And, you know, three, four, five, eight, and nine. I see number eight, Global Scene, just 54 kilograms. That has to go in. Three, four, five, eight, and nine. Quite wide, the first leg of this PA. Two, three, four, five, leg two. There are those bankers again. Four in leg three. One in leg four. One, three, four, seven, by five and nine by banker three the spend there 160 rand that is the uh, the pa for today's pe meeting on the turf put up there by nino but quite wide and tricky the opening leg of the pa 
Pick six starts in race three this afternoon, 1600 meters with a maiden plate, fillies and mares. They're racing over 16, as I mentioned. Off time, 13.15. This is when the pick six gets underway. There's one scratching here, right at the bottom, number nine, take your time. Now the betting has number three, elusive matter, at 18 to 10. Seven to two about number one. A month of Sundays, uh, back from quite a lengthy rest, obviously relocated from Gauteng. Four to one, number two. Angel of My Heart. It's then number four, a Beijing Boulevard at nine to two. And the only other horse ready in the betting is number five, Karoo Bookie at five to one. Right, so this being the first leg of the pick six, it looks like if you beat number three, it looks quite competitive. You know, how are we structuring the first leg and are we taking a pick six? Yeah, I did work out a pick six, uh, 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 Lyle. Uh, the first horse we have to talk about is, is the newcomer. I've left it out of the uh, bipod and the, the PA, but I've added it in, in the pick six. Now, have a look at this horse. Um, uh, he hasn't run for eight months, but he ran first time out eight lengths behind Kimi another. Then he ran a bit of a bad race, and then he ran six lengths behind Kissing Machine. That kind of form would pulverize a field like this. But the concern is uh, the long layoff. Uh, so th the first choice in, in, for me is number four, Beijing Boulevard, because I think he's better on the turf and his last two runs on, on the poly have, have to be ignored. I make the danger number three, Elusive Mortar, that's got good form. Uh, number two, Angel on Heart ran a very good race first time out in PE, but that was on the poly. And uh, his form on the grass... On the turf in, in the Joburg wasn't too bad. And then obviously, uh, Karoo Boki, the, this well-bred uh, Deneen Platina from the Alan Greer stable can't be left out. So the pick six, I've gone one, two, three, four, and five. Thank you, Nino. One, two, three, four, and five by bank of four, by one, four, and eight, by one, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, nine. Banker three, 450 Rand. And Nino Minor found some value for you. Number four, Beijing Boulevard. He thinks this one will run well with Muzi aboard. Race number four today, this is where the jackpot one starts at the middle stakes. They're racing over 2,400 metres, and there are no changes at this stage. Only seven runners, though, and it looks like a match race as far as the betting is concerned. Number one, no place like home, Alan Clear of Richard Furry. That's trading at around 16 to 10. In fact, joint favourites with number four, Juan Carlos. It is 11 to 2 about number three, Women's World, the best weighted in the race. Uh, the same price about number six, Storm Commander, and then seven to one, number two, Central City. So small but competitive race. And this is the one race I did chat to Nino before we started today. I know he's very strong. You've seen his banker coming up in all of his exotics so far. And I think uh, Juan Carlos is going to be the horse for him. Nino, as you mentioned, Juan Carlos could run around the track three times, whereas you're not sure about number one, no place like home. Yes, uh, the concern is the distance. I'm not sure that uh, no place like home will stay. I certainly know that uh, Jean Carlos will stay. Uh, his course and distance stats are, are good. And the only other horse that's got uh, form over 2,000 metres is Women's World. But that's a filly, and she's giving a, 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 a filly, a, a two-time winner, giving a, a Galdin, a five-time winner, uh, one and a half kilos. So I'm definitely in the camp of Jean Carlos to, to win again. And uh, I make the nearest danger... Um, a woman's world, and then only uh, no place like home. But obviously, you know, we have to be careful. If no place like home does happen to stay, he could be a, a, a major runner. But uh, John Carlos, a strong selection. Right, we like strong selections. The son of Frankel, Juan Carlos, the win bet for Nino, also bankering it in the first leg of our jackpot one, four by one, four, eight, by one, three, four, seven, eight, by one, two, three, five, six, nine. Hopefully the four can come through, win the first leg, 490 Rand, and we can sit there and hope for a few roughies. So, confidence, race four, number four. Race number five over the minimum 1,000 meters. This is the first leg of our jackpot two this afternoon. Play soccer 6, 10, and 13, and it's a Phillies and Mares 70 handicap. Now, changes. Number four, Miss Chavi is a compression mask on as usual. And now I had a little quick history lesson here. Number nine, Pitsu Chum. Uh, this is number nine, form updates, ran 10th, 11.35 lengths behind Raw Bird, also has blinkers and a compression mask on, and is a variety of nuts that humans can bite 
and chew with their teeth. So there we go. Thank you very much for the history lesson there. Betting has a number one by the light of the moon with Richard aboard and top weight at 28 to 10. 33 to 10, number four, Michelle V. The uh, third favorite, 11 to two is number eight, and that's Cold Truth. Uh, Dennis Shaw's taking the ride there. 13 to two, number 11. Uh, then the six, Project One Ray showing nine to one. It's 10 to one and better by those. Right, so now we have the history lesson, Nino. 1,000 meters, who's going to take the sprinting honors this afternoon? Um, my first choice is number one. Uh, by the light of the moon. I've banked that in the pier because I think it, it, it shouldn't miss the first three and in the bipod. Uh, it absolutely uh, waltzed home last time over the 1200, but the slight concern was that it was in yielding going. So maybe uh, it's got to prove that it wasn't just a flash uh, in the pan and, and it was just because of the going that it improved like that. So for that, uh, for that, uh, I've I've added my two dangers in the pick six, and that is number four, Mashaibi, eight, Cold Truth. Uh, and uh, I think the winner will come from one of those three. But uh, my first choice is number one, By the Light of the Moon. All right, so By the Light of the Moon for uh, Nino, and a Kriop Richard for Re. Uh, he just hopes that wasn't, not a fluke, but the going was different last time. Uh, won very well, but in the jackpot two, he's going one, four, and eight. He's putting all three of them in. One, three, four, seven, eight in leg two. One, two, three, five, six, and nine in leg number three. And then his banker at the back, he's bankered this in a few things. Number three, the cost of that jackpot two, same as jackpot one, 90 Rand this afternoon. Get those bets on by 14.30. Race number six takes place over 1,200 meters. ROA, merit rated 86 handicap. The uh, changes here, I'm not too sure there are any at this stage. None at all. There are 10 runners that'll be taking uh, place. And it actually like, does look like quite a good little race, this one. Number three, Anushka's World, is at the top of the betting here at seven to two. Joint favorite, number six, Cool Winter, same price, seven to two. Five to one about number one, Forest Spy. 11 to two, number five, Golden Link. 13 to 2, number 7, Son of Zeus. 15 to 2, number 4, Vashika, and it doesn't stop there. It's 9 to 1 and better by those. You know, first question I'm going to give to you when we get there. Anushka's world won last time, and she's got a massive 16 points for that win. So I can certainly see why horses are coming to this race. That is a big uh, merit rating increase, Nina. Yeah, it's massive. And uh, have a look at uh, the weight swing with uh, number one for this car, uh, for the spy. I think it's much as uh, five, five kilograms. Yeah. And and That's also the other concern is that uh, she won over the thousand, and now she's carrying that weight uh, over extra two hundred meters, and she's so badly off uh, with uh, for the spy. And but uh, so I think those two will, will will finish much closer together. And actually, for the spy is actually. On paper, got the beating of a new Anushka as well, and he's also uh, better over the twelve uh, uh, for the spy. So uh, yeah, it's a, a, a very tough little race. This uh, the thing is, uh, is that I do not like cool winter over the twelve at feed, and I've left that out, which could prove uh, to be a very risky thing to do to leave uh, Richard Furrier and Alan Cleef out. But I think uh, Cool Winter is, is better over the 1,000 and also better on the poly. So I have, uh, I have not included that also in, in my play. But I do think that uh, the winner, will, uh, for me, uh, Forest by Anushka's World, I like a bit of Upusika. I like a, a Son of Zeus. And uh, the Lurker in the pack could be whatever needs. It's uh, okay. got very good uh, form over call centers. You make a very good point. It looks very open. I was just looking while you were chatting there. Son of Zeus beat Anushka's world and is five and a half kilograms better off. So very exposed, this uh, joint favorite, Anushka's world. And that's why Nino is playing wide. One, three, four, seven, eight, by one, two, three, five, six, nine, by banker three, 30 rand. That is the final pick three on the card. The penultimate race on the card this afternoon is a Phillies and Mares 74 handicap. They're racing over 1,400 meters. Two changes at this stage. You can take out number six, that is a scratching, and put tongue tie on number eight, true design. Nine of them taking part at this stage. Your betting has number five, Arabian Red, 
for Alan Creer from the ASSM Colors at the favorite 16 to 10. It is five to one about number seven, that being Blue Palace. It's then number three, Can't Say No, 11 to two, seven to one, number nine, Hugs and High Fives, and then 17 to two, number two, Chronicles of Narnia. So again, if you look past this favorite here, number five, Arabian Red, Red it looks quite competitive, Nino. Yes, it does, because he's dropping now from a 1600 to, to a 1400. But having a look at the way he ran last time, he only tired late. So maybe the, the 14, uh, 1400 is the right thing for Alan to have done. Uh, he might prefer the 1400. Uh, I, I put in Kurandi because I knew it ran on Friday and it will probably be scratched. Uh, and just if uh, Arabian Red does win, we'll double up in, in our exotics. Uh, very tough race, uh, Lal. Um, the third favourite, uh, Palace Guide. Uh, going around the bend for the first time, I've ignored that. But I do believe that Hugs and I-5 now, that last run on the poly was too far. Uh, uh, they put the blinkers on. I think, uh, let me see, yeah, the blinkers come back on. And uh, back on the turf, uh, it's also that I've been uh, looking at in PE since it came to PE. So uh, I would go for Arabian Red to beat Hugs and I-5. But in the pick six, I've added a few others to get an upset. I've added the number one, Kill Monovag, Chronicles of Narnia, and number three, Can't Say No. All right, fair enough. So we're playing wide. You know you don't make money if you back favourites, so we've got to try and beat them sometimes. One, two, three, five, six, and nine by Banker Three. That three's been up there the whole day. I'm looking forward to the last race. Hear what Nino has to say about that. But the last double will cost you just six rand. Race number eight, the final race on the card, merit rated 68 handicap. They're going over the 1400 meters. A few changes here. Number two, Golden Corn, form update, ran ninth, 10.85 behind Coastal Path. That, of course, on the 11th of October. You can take the blinkers off. Number three, Heart Stealer. Five, Magic Prince is a scratching. Over the page, we have number eight, King Sailor and Shod. And then number 11, O Captain. The blinkers and pacifiers are off. Compression mask is on. Right, or was that cheek pieces? I think that's actually cheek pieces. Right, number three, Heart Stealer, even money. Six to one, number one, a bound. Six, James Fitz James is at 15 to two. It's nine to one, about number seven, Bryden Bay. And then 10 to one, and better by those. Nina, Heart Stealer, is this going to be stealing candy from babies? It should be. Lala, do, do you remember uh, the last time it ran? I, I, I spoke to you and, and told you that I thought the handicapper. Uh, Got the ratings wrong with this? Yes, you did. I remember that. Remember? I remember it. And uh, it was running against a, a, a horse called Montalina that was rated and weighted to win by six lengths. Yes. Montalina was a bit of Montalina is rated 92. And they gave a hot stealer a rating of 68, I think, which I thought was completely wrong. Uh, I believe uh, the handicap wrong. But anyway, uh, he's only been given a two-point penalty from a 68 to a 70 after beating a horse that was merit rated 92. So this makes it, and it should win very, very easily. I don't want to know about getting, about hot stealer getting beaten. And I'm a confident banker and and, and a very, very confident selection to, to close the meeting. Richard Foley and uh, and uh, Alan Kriep. And it's also nice to see that the blinkers have come off. All right, we like the confidence. Thank you, Nino. Number three, Heart Stealer. Note that time last time as well. He won 83.98, well faster than average. There it is, the win, Heart Stealer, 100 Rand. That is a complete banker in all of Nino's bets. He doesn't want to know. He thinks Heart Stealer is still ahead of the handicapper.